Ray, great to see you here in Las Vegas at the Western Regional Survey Conference. Yeah, thanks, Mike, for having me here. So a lot of the GeoNet hosts and miners, they may not be experts in surveys, and they may not understand why absolute position to centimeter accuracy is so important. Maybe you could talk a little bit about why that matters and what are the challenges to get really high accuracy position? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah it's a challenge. And uh, so let's let me get uh, the US and uh, and Europe as an example. In Europe, it's quite covered well, you know. If I try to explain to a non-surveyor how land surveying goes with our with our uh, 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 with our software and with the GNS receiver, I always explain, you know, you need three items to land survey centimeter accuracy. First one is uh, it's what's flying above, right? The constellations, and uh, I try to explain, you know, and and then I say if it makes it easier for them you know the only thing they do is say hey here i am and then the receiver comes inside i brought a, a bad elf mini flex with me because uh, at this uh, convention i'm with bad elf our partner up it receives the signal and then there comes the next step you need to get a coordinate system so what i tell them you know you need to tell the survey the software where you're at so now we're of course in nevada las vegas so i enter the nevada uh, nevada las vegas coordinate system and then comes the next step. And then I try to explain something that you can survey or get a position four ways. One, you can use your phone, but it's not accurate enough. You know, it will be like a big ball around us. And the second one, if you connect your phone or your tablet or your land survey equipment with a GNS receiver. And then the third thing, you need base stations or RTK network. The more accessible it is, the easier it will come. Because with an accessible RTK network, you don't need a base setup. You just log into the RTK network right. and you can land survey centimeter accurate. Right? right? Absolutely. It's that's, challenging. It is challenging and that's, that's why we built GeoNet is to you know, help people get base stations everywhere. And you know, really the key thing for us is to have those base stations have geodata quality. So have the data quality be good enough for land survey. It's a crucial thing for us uh, and for our projects. And we align all of the token incentives align the coverage incentives around creating a stable, uniform, geodetic grade network. I absolutely agree. And that's why we love to collaborate with you guys. And we're testing now and then uh, the results are absolutely fabulous. I know for sure. So on your app, you know, what, what makes your app special and um, what kind of GNSS receivers does your app work with? What makes my app special? It's like what I told you in the beginning, we wanted to build some land survey software that is accessible to anyone. You know, even students or whatsoever, it should be accessible. That's why we built an app. So you can download the app on your Android device or on your Apple device, just from the Play Store or from the, from the, the Apple Store. And once you downloaded it, you can actually use it because we give you a 2,500 credit. So you can start using it. That, that's, you want to make it really easy. So like uh, collecting points, lines, polylines, polygons, and also stakeouts. And if you don't know anymore, we have like a built-in walkthrough. So just ask the software and he says, okay, what do you want to do? I want to stake out a point. And then the software tells you which buttons you have to press to stake out your first point. So you guys are kind of making it easy and accessible to everybody to do survey measurements. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, the compliment I always get. And that's what we are you know, trying to achieve is getting to let land survey accessible for right. almost anybody. Right. That, that's, that's our goal. That's why we want to make accessible and easy. And that really overlaps well with the goal of GeoNet to be able to have base stations anywhere, permissionlessly add base stations to the network in a way that still ensures the quality, but also provides redundancy and really lets anybody act as part of the RTK oh, yes. network. Definitely, but uh, also the question you asked is, uh, can it match with any uh, GNS receiver? Well, we can tell you with all the, I think there are about 100 producers worldwide. We have the bigger brands and the smaller brands, you know, the Leicas and the Trimbles and, uh, and, uh, and the Top Cons, but you have the, from the Bad Elves up to the Amblitz and any, any brand you can mention, we, our software can connect with it. Super cool, yeah. super cool. You know, in, in terms of setting up base stations in the traditional way, so you know, a GeoNet oh, yeah. hardware partner, $700, you get a NGS calibrated antenna, uh, low loss RF cable, a triple frequency receiver, 
1,000 channel for like 1,400 channels, all four constellations, GPS, GLONASS, Beto, Galileo. It's pretty accessible. And then on top of that, you start earning tokens when you set that up. I mean, how do you feel that kind of approach is going to impact the growth of RTK network? Oh, wow. That's, uh, I, uh, the first time we met is uh, a while ago. And when, once you try to explain to me how it works, I think that means if you can do that, it will be accessible in any, any country. But that low amount to build a base station, we as a company also tried to say, maybe we should set up our own RTK network. And then we figured out, you know, I need a base station, reference station, the software, the hardware, up until the tens of thousands of euros and dollars to make up a base station, maintain it, get it certified. So that accessibility, which you are going to provide in combination with our software, we can even, we can start land surveying RTK uh, survey grade worldwide, you know? Yep. It, it, for us, it, 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 you know, I get the, the chills of it. I it know, will be, you know, exciting. that it's combination, Mike, I know definitely we can, we will be a game changer. It'll be great. You know, we've got now almost 5,000 stations. We're adding 150 stations a week. So it seems like a week. So it seems like the accessibility and the blockchain incentives and the Web3 aspect really are quickly building, I mean, really in, in short order, um, the world's largest RTK network ever. So, so for my so. consideration, is there uh, any uh, a part of the world which sticks out to your 150 a week? Is there any part I mean, of the Europe world? and the U.S. are the are still the, sort of the front runners in terms of the growth, and yeah. and that's where we see most of the stations going in. And I think the U.S. the situation of RTK stations isn't you know so great. So it's actually great to see that. Um, there are also plenty of places where accessibility in Europe is still not wonderful. So we do see most of the growth there, but we've worked on programs in India to get stations in India. So now we have over 150 stations in India. We're going to be opening up a new program to add more stations in Southeast Asia and in Brazil. These are important places. There's a lot of demand for RTK access in those places. And I'm so nice. Thank you again, Mike, for uh, inviting me. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ray. Thank you for taking time. Let's do and, the business. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll let you get back to your booth. I know you got customers waiting, but thanks for taking some time to talk with me in the GeoNet community a little bit more about what survey is, what surveying apps are, and, and how yeah. our, the GeoNet community network and the growth that it's having can have an impact in this industry. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, me too. And thanks. Uh, yeah, and I hope uh, that the GeoNet uh, listeners who are watching this, uh, this nice video uh, even give me some feedback, you know, on the software as well, because we are also depending a lot on our end users if there's anything in the software or make it easier or a combination with the RTK network. We are very happy and standing open for that. And uh, Sounds good. There's lots to do. We're really excited. Okay. All right, Ray. Thanks great to lot, see Mike, you. Thanks for uh, taking the time. Great to see you. Yeah, great to sure, see you. Of course. Geonet. Mind the sky.